It's provincial final weekend. We know that Kilkenny have left the, the Leinster title. Clare have come close, but Limerick have completed a four in a row here in Munster. Still in Semple Stadium here, just reflecting on the weekend and looking at my team of the week. I suppose no better place to start than in goals, as always. I thought Owen Murphy, a couple of the saves that he made were crucial. Um, I'm just going to bring up the, the team on screen here. So Owen Murphy in goals. <clears throat> his save from Brian Kincannon in particular, a couple of minutes after the one from Joseph Cooney, I think that gives him the, the edge here. Uh, it's a really a, a high intensity game here in Thurlis, Aver Quilligan and Nicky Quaid, neither of them really put uh, too much of a foot wrong here. But I think more most of the saves, especially that were made on Clare, uh, they were hooks. <clears throat> blocks by a defender at one stage. Um, Shane O'Donnell had his shot stopped by Mike Casey. So I just think uh, Murphy really got the job done, probably that bit more than anybody else. Full back line, Mikey Butler, he got man of the match in the Leinster final, did a great job on Cahill Mannion, which is no mean feat at all. Some days Mannion goes out and scores seven or eight points from players he did in Nolan Park in 2019. So keeping tabs on him was a huge job well done by Butler. Hugh Lawler, Connor Whelan might have scored four, four points from play, but the ball going in, at times, it was very difficult. Not too many fullbacks would have held him out. So I thought he was excellent and deserves a shout there. Connor Cleary did relatively well on Aaron Galan in the sense that he didn't get him for a goal. He did get three from play. Uh, Cleary was booked for persistent fouling. And a nice bit came off Galan, who um, we'll be talking about later on in terms of this team of the week. But uh, probably not quite enough here. Barry Nash, very unlucky to miss out. I thought he was really, really good. Um, definitely stifled uh, plenty of attacks, brought out an awful lot of ball, but I couldn't not put Paul Flanagan in. He's a player who, from Ballier, made his debut age 28, uh, but he's just pr produced powerful performance after powerful performance. High ball going in between himself and Kyle Hayes, spoiled him for pretty much every one of them. The one time that Hayes did catch a high ball was when um, Flanagan allowed one of his fellow defenders to go up for the ball, and he didn't challenge him. Brilliant at spoiling, brought out a lorry load of ball. Uh, must have been injured to be brought off late on in normal time because I thought he had a fantastic game and no question he had to be. See the full show at patreon.com forward slash our game.